Today we're talking all about loan officer, cold calling scripts. If you're a lender, a mortgage broker, a loan officer, you're looking for the best cold calling scripts to reach out to realtors, stick around because that's exactly what we're gonna get into today. I'm Nick Carpenter, welcome back to the channel. Today we're again, like I said, we're talking all about loan officer cold calling scripts. And look, uh, loan officer cold calls has been one of the primary drivers of business or you know one of the primary strategies that mortgage coaches have been using for maybe millennia. I don't know, how long have people been teaching this strategy? Millennia? Decade, uh, centuries, decades, I don't know exactly, but I know it's been an awfully long time and uh, maybe since I was born in the 80s, lenders have been at least doing this strategy. It's been a really long time. So if you're looking for cold calling scripts, then let's talk about what is the kind of the standardized or, you know, if you go to a, a workshop or a training with like marketing animals or the core or any of these type of people, the script that you're going to be taught at those type of events typically is something along the lines of, hey, ring, ring, hey, realtor, hey, it's Nick, hey, just checking in on your Monday, seeing how your weekend was, uh, did you get any buyers this weekend, anybody at your open house that you need me to pre-approve or, you know, anything that I can help you with right now? Um, you know, maybe are there any buyers that I can take a second look at for you? Uh, if another lender turned them down, maybe there's a chance that, you know, one of our programs could help them actually get qualified. Anybody like that? Right, this is going to be like the standard, typical Monday cold call that the dinosaur coaches are still teaching the people to do, right? So if you're, you know, if you've ever been taught a loan officer cold calling script, then the, probably the script you were given was something like that, where it's just more like an ask, right? It's like, a, it's like your hand is out. Hey, realtor, what do you have for me? What can you do for me today, right? Or maybe it's, you know, best case scenario, it's an ask about meeting up for a coffee or something along those lines. So let's talk about a loan officer, a cold call script that works significantly better, gets better response, better show rates, and will grow your business faster than approaching realtors for anything they generated this weekend or any turndowns that you might be able to um, you might be able to potentially try to help them with right so if you're going to call realtors number one is you need to have you need to have some sort of offer right so if we're calling instead of having an ask we want to have an offer right because that's going to immediately make the conversation more valuable and feel like you're not wasting the realtor's time because if all if all you're doing every week week after week month after month is calling the realtors with your hand out asking them what do they have for you i mean eventually you start to feel a bit like a bugaboo you know i mean it's probably not how you want to be perceived out there in the market is like a bugaboo you want to be seen as a high value professional that somebody should want to partner with and so one way that you do that is by having some kind of offer, you know? And the more nonchalant, the, the less you care about the outcome of conversations, the better those conversations are gonna be, right? At least in my experience, the less I care about making a sale to someone on the phone, the more they're actually drawn to wanna work with me. You know, I mean, if you think about when we're chasing things, right? People talk about chasing dreams, chasing money. Oftentimes, if you know, you, you never really chase a dog that's not running down the street, right? Or you don't chase after a piece of trash that's already just sitting on the ground. You know, you just pick it up. You, you typically only are chasing things that are running away from you. So um, if we're chasing after realtors, that usually is also driving them away, right? So that we can continue to chase. So instead, we want to attract the agents to what we're doing. And basically, you know, without caring, I mean, we want to kind of give this feeling away in our script and the way that we present it. Often, again, remember, the words are important, but words are only a, a fraction of communication, of communication today. So often, it's also going to be your, um, your delivery, your cadence, right, your inflection. These things are all going to matter. So you could, so number one, like I said, have some kind of offer. For me, I like the offer to be hey, I'm hosting an event, here's what we're gonna be doing. I don't know if you care about that or not, but if you do, cool. I wanted to see if you wanted to be there. If not, no sweat, right? So it might be something like, hey, what's up, Bob? Hey, man, 
It's me, Nick, over here at XYZ Mortgage. Hey, I'm doing a class next Thursday, and I'm actually gonna be showing realtors my uh, Facebook ads that I'm running today, and how I'm generating home buyer leads for like two to three dollars a piece. And I'm even getting seller leads also, right? My seller leads are running me a little bit under $10 a piece. And, and I'm gonna be showing realtors exactly what I'm doing, how I'm generating the buyer leads, how I'm generating the seller leads, and, um, Anyways, like I said, it's going to be next Thursday. I just wasn't sure if that's something you care about or and you'd want an invitation or if that's not something that you care about. And right, and Bob's going to, what's he going to do? Is he's going to either say, yeah, I totally want an invitation to that. Because he looks like an idiot if he says he doesn't care about how you're getting leads for nothing. You know? So that's why you got to have an offer that's um, ultimately where almost like somebody feels stupid saying no to the offer. So what kind of class or what kind of when you're offering something to the realtors, what is it that you could offer? Okay, if you want to go straight for a one-on-one -on -one meeting, then go and actually do some research. You know, have you ever had somebody call you and you can tell if they've done research or not? Like if they've, you know, put five minutes of research, three minutes of research into figuring out how to bring you value. So if you, instead of wanting to go into an event, which is my strategy that I prefer, if you want to go straight for a one-on-one -on -one meeting, find a gap the realtor has. So for example, let's say you Google the agent and they only have one review on their Google listing. That could be a gap, that's a gap in somebody's business, right? So you could be like, hey, I noticed you only have one Google review. You're obviously way better than that. Would you be opposed to me helping you add like five or 10 more reviews this week? Or is that, or is that not something that you care about? Right? Who can say they don't care about that? You know, you, you look like an idiot. So. It's that type of thing, right? That's the kind of conversation, that's the kind of script that you want to show up with if you're calling the realtors um, any day of the week, if you're cold calling them. Instead of an ask, you want to have an offer, okay? That's the shift, excuse me, that's the shift that's going to get you the business, right? Um, and that's going to get realtors to actually show up, that's going to be able to build that relationship is by reaching out to them with an offer instead of an ask. So, hey, I'm doing a class about XYZ topic next week. Um, I don't, is that something that you want an invitation to or that's, you don't care about that, right? Or, hey, I noticed that you're not doing blank or, you know, you don't have any Google reviews or you don't have any Zillow reviews or Yelp reviews or are you doing emails to your database or, you know, do you have old leads that we could reach out to and reactivate them for you? Um, do you need help running, you know, ads to become a local celebrity within your database, right? These type of things. So, you can look for a gap if you want to go straight to a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Then the script should be around, hey, I saw you have this gap. Would you be opposed to me helping you fill that? Or is that not something you care, you know, or you don't care about that? All right? Or group event, which is going to be the best offer. Hey, I'm doing a class about XYZ topic. Like I'm doing a class about how you can take over YouTube for any local neighborhood in the next 30 days. Um, is that something that you'd want an invitation to or you don't care about that, right? So think about that as your next script when you're cold calling realtors next Monday or whatever day of the week you're outreaching to realtors, um, you know, in a cold to lukewarm kind of way, the people that you maybe kind of know to people that you don't know, have that as an offer, right? So reach out to them with an offer, get them to show up at your group events, build the relationship that way, and that's how you're going to get the deals the fastest. Way better than reaching out and doing this weird one-on-one -on -one coffee meetings with like a million strangers in order to find one that you actually like. So um, hopefully that was helpful for you. If you like that, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have questions that you want me to answer on another video. I really appreciate your input and your ideas. That helps me so much to make content that you actually care about. And we'll see you back here next time. Later.